Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's talk about the mystery of where the sun rises every morning. Well, everybody says it rises in the east, but not exactly. It only rises in the east on two days out of the year, September 21st and March 21st. September 21st is the autumnal equinox, and March 21st is the vernal equinox, the first day of fall and the first day of spring. At that, on that day, the sun will rise directly in the east. But for half the year, the sun will rise more to the north of the east, and that will then spell summer in the northern hemisphere. On June the 21st, the sun will rise the furthest north of east, 23.5 degrees, and of course that is where we find the, the Tropic of Cancer. And that, that's then the beginning of summer. And then six months later, the first day of winter, December 21st, at the winter solstice, that's when the sun rises at the horizon, 23.5 degrees south of east. People have been looking at this for many thousands of years and they began to realize that that was a very special event. They realized that once that the sun began to rise at that particular position, and sometimes they built special monuments or buildings to note that very position, they knew that after that the sun would begin to rise again further and further to the north and then the season then would change. They knew that they were then entering a period of cold weather in the northern hemisphere, but then eventually it would be spring again and then summer again. And they knew, they wanted to know when this date was, and so they built up monuments to notice this date and of course to notice this date. Those are very special days in the year that people used to maybe plant crops, go hunting and do whatever they needed to do. They knew what was going to happen based upon where the sun rise on the horizon. So don't always say the sun rises in the east, sometimes it's north of east and sometimes it's south of east depending upon what time of year. And again, this is of course due to the tilt of the earth which causes the seasons.